Hello, I will be discussing about the nationalism in India, focusing mainly on the Rowlett Act. I will be sharing my screen with you to show you a PowerPoint presentation for the better understanding of the topic. Okay, so nationalism in India. In the years after 1919, we see that the national movement for the independence of India began to spread to new areas and incorporating new social groups and all sections of the society and new modes of struggle were being developed for the Swaraj or complete independence of India. After arriving in India from South Africa, Mahatma Gandhi successfully organized various Satyagraha movements in different places all over India. Some of the most prominent ones are in the year 1917, he organized the Champaran movement in Bihar, where he inspired the peasants to struggle against the oppressive plantation system of the British. In the same year, he organized the Satyagraha movement in support of the peasants of the Kheda district of Gujarat, known as Kheda movement, where the peasants were unable to pay revenue because of poor crop and uh, plague epidemic. So the Satyagraha was in demand for the relaxation of tax collection. In 1918, Mahatma Gandhi went to Ahmedabad to organize the Ahmedabad textile labor movement among the cotton mill workers. Uh, with all his success in the years of 1917, 1918, in 1919, Gandhiji decided to launch a nationwide Satyagraha movement against the Rollet Act, which was passed by the Imperial Legislative Council, though it was uh, opposed by many Indian members. The Rollet Act gave the government enormous powers to repress political activities and allowed detention of political prisoners without trial for two years. Gandhi wanted a non-violent civil disobedience movement against such unjust laws and went on a hartal on 6th April. Various rallies were organized in different cities and workers went on strike and shops were closed down. The British government was alarmed by the huge popular upsurge and fearing that all lines of communication like railway, telegram, telegraph, postal systems would be disrupted. The officials of the British Empire or the British government decided to clamp down on nationalists and local leaders were arrested from Amritsar and Mahatma Gandhi himself was barred from entering Delhi. On 10th April, the British police in Amritsar fired upon a peaceful procession which provoked widespread attacks on banks, post office, railway stations. Martial law was imposed in Amritsar and General Dyer took command. Speaking of General Dyer, we are reminded of the infamous Jallianwala Bagh massacre that took place on 13th April 1919, which was also the day of Baisakhi. On that day, a huge crowd had gathered in the enclosed grounds of Jallianwala Bagh. Some had come to protest against the government's repressive measures, while others had come to attend the annual Baisakhi fair. Since many villagers who were from outside the city attended the, uh, had come to Jallianwala Bagh for attending the annual Baisakhi fair, they were unaware of the martial law that had been imposed and uh, in Amritsar, taking uh, in account of the situation, General Dyer entered the enclosed area and blocked the exit points and opened fire on the ground, uh, killing hundreds. As he declared later, his main objective was to produce a moral effect in the minds of Satyagrahas. He wanted to create a feeling of terror so that they never again come together in uh, 
protest against the orders or in protest against the um, uh, laws passed by the British government. As a result of the movement uh, against the Rollet Act, the Rollet Satyagraha, while it had been a widespread movement, it was still limited to mostly cities and towns and not many people were aware of it. Mahatma Gandhi now felt the need to launch a more broad-based movement in India, but he was uh, in a dilemma as to uh, no such movement could be organized without bringing the Hindus and Muslims, the two major religious organizations or two, two major religious uh, sects together. So one way of doing so, he realized, was to take up the Khilafat issue. The Khilafat issue was that after the end of the First World War, the Ottoman Turkey was defeated and there were rumors that a harsh peace treaty would be imposed on the Ottoman Emperor, the spiritual head of the Islamic world, the Khalifa. To defend the Khalifa's powers, the Khilafat movement was formed in Bombay in March 1919, where a young generation of Muslim leaders the, like the Ali brothers, Muhammad Ali and Shaukat Ali, began discussing with Gandhi about the possibility of a united mass action of both Hindus and Muslims and other religious uh, organizations or sects on this issue. Gandhiji uh, grasped this opportunity to bring Hindus and Muslims together under the umbrella of a unified national movement. And at the Calcutta session of the Congress in September 1920, he convinced the other leaders the need to start a non-cooperation movement in support of the Khilafat, as well as for the Swaraj or complete independence of India, thus paving way for the non-cooperation movement in India. Thank you.